Good morning and welcome back to Dragon Fable. We are still working through Bacon Origins. We managed to do four of it and we still have what looks to be another six ahead of us. So we're going to jump into Heart of Gold. Seems your chicken cow friend isn't completely self-absorbed. After all, in fact, he seems downright benevolent in this letter. He says that Arya has always been a friend of the chicken cows, so now he wants you to help her for him. He says she needs a hand with a hind, whatever that means. Oh, hey, Jam. Zeuster has offered my help on his behalf. He's heard you're in a bit of a bind, and you could use a hand with a hind. Do you know what he means? Aw, Zeusty's such a nice chicken cow. Yes, if you're willing to help me, I'd be glad of it. I have an order for an exotic pet, a gilded hindir. They're very rare, and I just don't have the time to spend catching one. An animal made of gold. Yep, with the money we'll make from this sale, Grams and I can finally go to that island vacation we've been wanting. Just bring the hind back to me once you found her. Please remember, she needs to be alive, so be gentle with her. Oh no. Um... Alive is not, not something I'm good at. Also, I did try to at one point use Shadow Seed. It's, it's just like you just have to sit and wait, and it just doesn't doesn't work. But we are looking for a solid gold animal, and like I'm using the class that just damages by existing. Oh, Gorilla Fent. Two Gorilla Fents. Well. One gorilla fent. Zero gorilla fent. We're not super worried about the enemies in this one, though the fact that they're living is, is a bit worrying. So I, I do like the Necromancer. I haven't really gotten used to its rotation, and that's going to unfortunately be the case for all the classes at this point. This will probably be the last episode I'm going to use the Necromancer uh, for Bacon Origins, because we do have another one ahead of us. We have the Death Knight. Um, this guy does still deal enough damage to deal with regular fights. He's just... He feels very MP intensive. Like, we've not even done that many fights. We're already down to... We've already used about 200 MP. So. But... That's because it's 25 a hit. But, I mean, I say that, but it really... Oh, I have allies with me. I didn't realize because they haven't had a chance to do anything. Um, I, I'll clear those out after this quest. Um, I didn't even I didn't even see the Tuskmonger behind the Gorilla Fant. Uh, yeah, whenever I do the daily, I just bring two. I bring literally this set. I bring Archic and uh, Netheria just because they they help so much. It's it changes it from like a four round quest because I'm just using Mage ninety percent of the time to two at most. So. I kind of love that. Yeah, I have allies. Found you. Who knew a glittering gold hind could be so easily camouflaged among mossy green and brown forest? <laughs> here, hiney, 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 hind. Come here, you pretty shiny thing. It'll be easier if you just let me slip a rope around your neck and... You aren't going to make this easy for me, are you? <laughs> Alright. Um... I guess do do I want to to kill him? I don't think I do. Um, yeah, hind deer takes half his health in one hit. We'll skip. See if it gives us an option of something else. Nothing. Okay. Well, we'll crit him then. We were reminded that it needs to be alive, so I feel kind of wrong doing it this way. But easy, girl, easy. Just want to take you to visit a friend of mine. No one's gonna hurt you. 
Now let's see if he'll listen. Stand, girl. Okay, so you need a bit more patience in handling. Oh! Oh no! I did not expect a taming roll at this point. Nice! Charisma! Oh, that's right! Uh, I have very high charisma right now. Uh, at 231. We succeeded. You like me. You really like me. All right, let's get you back to Aria. Follow, girl. Good hind. She's gorgeous. It's too bad we won't see the look on our buyer's face, but at least he's paid in advance. No wonder they're rare. The shine makes him a target for every predator out there. Now into the crate with you. One hero with a net, and boom, come to think. But a net would have been handy today. Hey now, stop you box brain runts. Don't worry, watch. Wow. Indeed, little guy. I wouldn't want to mess with Arya either. Zeuster, wanting to help Arya? Maybe he has a heart after all. Superior gilded machete. Ooh. How is that an axe? Well, at the very least, remove our guests so we don't have to worry about that part. But let's take a look at the gilded machete. That looks pretty cool. Would not call it an axe, but it looks pretty cool. You heal. Quests, bacon. Oh, I. Okay. Outnumbered. Zeuster has been petitioned by a local bull, the half cousin of one of his attendants. Seems one of their calves wandered into the swamp and was attacked by a vicious hydra. Never seen one this large, so you better be careful because Zeus is sending you to take care of it. Cows have promised to erect a large golden statue in his honor if you can finish off the monster, so he's eager for you to get started. Honestly, this quests are bringing me all over the place i have not expect like i don't know what to expect next and i'm kind of okay with it the quests are all get to the end but that's not a negative thing lagoon goon anything over here nope fake wall rage Aww. See, this is when I wish I still had my allies. I still love, you're wielding a giant uh, scythe. You are going to claw them. What's the, what is the point of my intimidating scythe if it's just so I can use my hand to solve the problem anyways? I've heard there is an XP limit of how much you can get in a day, and I never ran into it. I assumed it would be something you'd run into as we got later in the game, because the XP does somewhat scale up a little bit. But it just never was an issue. I thought while I was grinding um, the War Waves in the beginning would be when I'd have hit that, but... It, it's got to have just been in the last levels that you can even run into it, because, like, look at that. You need basically a million XP for it. But you're getting 50-ish each, uh, like each quest, so it's not too surprising if you can hit it. Oh. One, two, three, four, ready or not, here I come. Oh. Well, that's honestly pretty chill. Only three? Is that just because that's the, the limit they can do? One down. And that is a good point. All of these are going to be weak to energy and fire. So let's just switch you over to energy. Um, it looked like there was nine of them. Did he just swim out of the water? Well, whatever. Beam. Almost takes out. Okay, so. They 
really don't hit very hard. I get that, yeah, um, they aren't going to necessarily hit very hard because of uh, how old this quest is, but it's like, Hydras are a consistent boss. You would think there'd be a chance. Someone dropped a box of potions here, all right. So that, that was how they did it. Okay, we're going to try out Shadow Seed. This is the only type of fight we're actually going to have a chance of using it in. So that top one has been Shadow Seeded. Bottom one down. Next, middle guy. The exact same. Uh, hit him with final. Followed by beam. Three hundred percent damage is at least going to be something. Yeah, sure. Raise. What is this going to do? And we'll beam you once. You're not, you're cut in half. Where's the d Let's throw up some resist cuz I didn't realize Oh, that must have been it. Cuz I just used a resist move and it did some damage. So, but this will actually bring your defense up to 99% in that element. So, I now have a 99% water resist. So, uh, let's, here, we'll, we'll let you heal the hero. And then what are you going to do? Miss. That was disappointing. But I would have taken basically no damage for however long that lasts. Which, sure, Shrouded and Dead, how long do you last? Three turns. I'm glad that we have basically a one hit kill. But yeah, even if these attacks were to hit, they can't do too much against us because of that. And that is really nice. Uh, it's a very reassuring feeling knowing that. Um, water can't hurt me during those like whatever their most common element that you kind of resist though it seems that they are smart about that they actually do have a few elements this one uses poison that being said uh, he's just as weak to energy and fire as any of the others and uh raise minion this should be fine it feels like that one's kind of a random, but it goes between all the other ones you can summon. So potentially you can get crit twice in a row. This may, oh, this have may, this may have been your most challenging task yet, but I've done it. All nine heads lie at the bottom of the swamp. You, very well done, I admit. You are proving yourself to be more useful than I anticipated. You mean you're ready to share the secrets of the bacon element now? <laughs> no. So far you've proven yourself useful. It's quite different from having proven you're worthy. How much more useful do you have to be to be worthy? I do like my statue. Grateful cat will have a way of, with precious metals, it seems. I'll have to remember that. It's marvelous. You didn't answer my question. The magnificence of the statue is outshined only by your brilliance. The brilliance of your reflection, my lord. Are you ignoring me? Mm, you're right, of course. I do look quite fine reflected in gold. Well, Ancia better appreciate all this effort. You know, there's just one problem with your shiny statue, Zooster. <gasps> what are you talking about? It's grand, glistening, gold, and huge. No other statue could possibly be so impressive. All true. Except for one little thing. Cicero's is bigger. Hydra souvenirs! Okay, so each of the ones kind of have their own special... Wait, was one of those imitation chicken cow wings? 
Oh, cool. Complete quest. Two heads are better than one? Then nine heads should be unstoppingly brilliant. I think someone needs to rethink their math. All right, so that was showing off the Necromancer. In the next part, we're going to jump in as the Death Knight and see how more Bacon Origins goes. See you guys then.